I love me. I got a message. Look for a wall at the China I'm really sorry about that. Pat is a very, very sick man. We rarely let the dangerously ill out into society. And when we do, it's not always fatal. Okay, great. Get this crackhead out of here. I wouldn't do that. He's hard and ruin his life so that he ends up a nudist or a freak or something. It's a difficult question, Jack. A very difficult question. Is it right to lie? Close or a lie, Maurice? No, Barry. Close are a way of keeping warm and not getting arrested. No policeman has ever hit me with his truncheon. I'd like to hit you back to hell, you sicko. Your filth. Human form of vermin. A blight on a fine society of picket fences and garden parties, and everyone coming three times a day to my statue to pay homage. Pastor Richards, as a human being, I have to say I find your philosophy or cult or whatever it is utterly and completely appalling. Why, thank you. I knew you'd understand. I mean, you seem to want to build a religion around yourself and some 1950s vision of America. It's the 1980s, man. And one-man worship me cults are not allowed, my friend. Exactly. As I say in the great book, many are called, but unless you have a good credit rating, go screw yourself. You're burning hell. Ay, por favor, shut up. But Barry, what are you doing? I'm lonely, Maurice. Lonely, and I need some bodily contact. Get behind. Get back behind that panel. Don't be shy. Please. We've all got one. That means I'm happy. Hey, stay away from me. I'm a celebrity. Oh, good lord. Hide yourself, boy. I warn you, I'm armed and I'm not afraid to use it. We've all got one. Look how free I am. Hmm. Fan feels so good. I feel you. Shit. Hey, hey, Pastor Richards, please put the gun away. Put it away. No. I am the sole judge of truth and decency. Hey, yo, Get back, me, heathen. Man. Get back. I love you all. Evil doer. Die, devil. Die. Ah, ow. Dios mio, you shot him. There's blood and, and pubic hair all over the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, it is complete pandemonium here on pressing issues with me, the multi-award winning and soon-to-be executed Maurice Chavez. Uh, Barry? Are you okay? Are you alive? Stop the bleeding. It's, it's down there. Uh, do I have to? Can't you get someone else? Jack, I she's fainted. No. Hold it. Harder. Oh, that's so good. I need mouth to mouth. Maurice, please. I might die. Um, okay. Excuse me, I'm only doing this to save your life. I don't want to. Thanks. I'm getting cold. Quickly. It's okay to use tongues. Ah, get off of me! I'm happily divorced! Shall I send him to hell, Maurice? Yes! I mean, no! No, you psychotic lunatic! Put that gun away! Don't point it at me! Or your what, son? You think I'm scared of your conventional lily-livered morality? You think you can tell me what to do? You think it's wrong for me to have five concubines to spread my genes? Or to use money from the statue for building my own palace in Hawaii? You think that's wrong, do you, son? Do you, huh? No, 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 <laughs> Mr. Pastor. It's all right. I think it's very right. Very right indeed. You're the boss. You're in charge. You're the king. Damn right I am. Now, I'll tell you about morality. Morality is what I say is right, and immorality is what I say is wrong. You've got to understand this. <clears throat> oh, uh, I do. Oh, I'm bleeding. I need a proctologist. Shut it. Now, next question. Ask me anything. Ask me anything you want. Yeah, son. well, I'd love to, but it seems that that is about all we have time for, actually. The thing is, you see, this is public radio, and every once in a while we need to appeal for money. Or cut away when people start brandishing guns in the studio. Like this. You're on pressing issues, and in this show we discussed morality. I think we made a lot of progress and really came together. I'm Maurice Chavez. Bye. Uh, please, don't kill me. I hope you were enjoying pressing issues. I certainly was. Yes, it's almost as interesting as listening to you, Jonathan. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Michelle. It is, isn't it? Before we let you get back to the show, I thought you'd like to know VCPR has managed to raise $30 this hour, which should keep us on the air for another 15 minutes at least. Thankfully, due to the generosity of the people at DeLeo and Furax, the fascinating show Legal Review will still run. But now, back to the pressing issues. Actually, before we let you get back to the show, I'd like to say something. I know that public radio may not seem very important in an era of poverty and famine and immense personal greed, but I can assure you it is. And not just because I say so. Look at the facts. 15 of the last 37 American presidents and 47 vice presidents have appeared on VCPR in the last month. 
33% of all Nobel Prize winners started out in public radio. Without public radio, we would never have discovered gravity or the pizza or the fact that a lot of people love to hear themselves rattle. Anyway, sermon over. I hope you folks at home understand how passionate we are about public radio, and it has nothing to do with the fact I got kicked off the networks. That was very moving, Jonathan. Back to pressing issues. Where is the creep? Put him on! Hello. As you may know, you're on VCPR, and this is Maurice Chavez. That is, I am Maurice Chavez. That's Chavez, not Chaves or Chavis. This isn't a game show. Sorry about the upbeat opening. This isn't a game show. It's a political and social debate on free radio, without adverts. And I'm still Maurice Chavez. Hi. Next up on Pressing Issues, we tackle one of the most important issues in our country today. The issue of perception. Not credit card fraud. That's deception. But we're talking about perception. How we perceive the world. These are optimistic times we're living in. A time of go-getters and doers. Our hero is the entrepreneur, the shaker and the maker. Positive thinking, we are told, is everything. Think it, and we can do it. Or can we? Let's press the issue. Now, personally, some days I wake up and I look out the window and I think it's great to be alive. Other days, like payday or my ex-wife's birthday, I want to hide under the pillows and cry. But that's me, a man of contradictions, as my therapist said. He was a yonki. But whatever. I'm Maurice Chavez. And on our panel right now, we've got three very contrasting views about the issue of positive thinking. On my right, I have gothic artist, vampire hunter, and his words, man of the night, Konstantinos Smith. Konstantinos, hello. Greetings, mortal. I hope this is good. I'm missing a seance to be here. You don't sound excited to be here. No, man. I'm mind-numbingly depressed. It's great. Okay, I'm going to have to interrupt you there. And on the left, I have positive thinker extraordinaire. A man who dragged himself up from the gutter. Jeremy Robart. Hey, the ghetto, not the gutter. I didn't live in the gutter. I lived in the ghetto. I'm a survivor, not vermin. I'm from the streets. Okay. Hey, I can teach you how to be a survivor, too. All of you. I can help everyone. I've got what they call a gift for communications. I can help you all realize that gift. Make something of yourselves. Realize your dreams. I'm like a high school counselor. I'll show you your potential. It's easy. All you have to do is follow my simple program on audio cassette or VHS. Okay, okay, not right now. This isn't a commercial. And if you're not going to underwrite the station, I can't let you read these bait and plucks. People pay for that. Hey, everything in life is an opportunity. When I was in jail, I got the idea for my current business. And look at me now. I got offices in Vice City, Bogota, Lebanese, and Jamaica. If I can do it, I can help you make something of yourself. You could be just like me, a success. Uh, enough, enough, no more. Not a word from you until you are called upon again. It's a three-stage process. Learn, start, doing. Uh, shut up. I I'm warning you, this is my show. You shut your mouth. Yo, you shut it now and keep friend? it shut. Do not push me, you shiny-suited prick. Do not push me. Hey, you have to dress to impress. I cover that in my program. People make judgments on who you are based on your appearance. Scientists say we form 98% of our opinions on a person in the first day of second we meet them. Hey, and if scientists say it, it must be true. I teach you how to live that. Enough! This is pressing issues. Enough now, okay? Enough. Please, no more. Okay, my last panelist is someone without a plan You're to sell. Without a program, but with a beautiful message. So it says here. Vice City Civilian of the Year for 1985, Jenny Louise Kraft. Hi, Maurice. This is such a lovely studio. Thanks. How are you doing? Great, great. In fact, I'm fantastic. Did you see the sunrise this morning? It was gorgeous. I've been smiling all day ever since. <laughs> okay. Now let's get with the policy of ladies first. And since you seem to be...